What's up, everybody? So, never mind my background. I'm getting ready to do a Halloween role play. But the holiday season is upon us, and it got me thinking about Christmas and Christmas past. When I was a kid, I didn't want much from Santa Claus, you know. I just I just wanted what I wanted. And I figured I was a good little boy. So I requested certain things. And one year, I wanted one toy in particular. I could have gotten only that one toy and I would have been happy. Needless to say, I never got that toy. In fact, I never got that toy. And it made me question the whole lie of Santa Claus. So I was taught that Santa Claus is real. If I got too close to the truth, I was punished. Like, you're punishing me for figuring out the big lie. What? Long story short, all I wanted was a He-Man action figure. And I figured, you know, Santa's good for it. And I never got it. And I've looked at other kids and it made me question my own um, status. You know, is, is my record of infractions that bad that I couldn't get one stupid action figure? And I've known other kids that I know, I know that dude was bad. But he got all these great toys. Eventually, I grew up to adult for myself. Things began to sink in because I, I wasn't bitter, but I kind of had took issue with this one thing. How come I never got that toy that I wanted? You know, when you're young, you're ignorant. When you become an adult, you figure things out and you understand. I understand that I was the child of a disabled mother. I, I understood that I grew up in a state that, well, there weren't a lot of jobs in my hometown. My dad has a whole issue in and of himself. And he had a, had a whole nother life going on elsewhere. It just is what it is. And I learned to forgive my parents because they had issues. Everything wasn't perfect in their lives and they couldn't make everything perfect in my life. Really, I had to learn that, guess what? When you grow up and you go into the world, everything isn't gonna be perfect out there. So, and I have found that to be the truth. And I always look at um, younger people who haven't reached that knowledge yet. And I, I just shake my head and I feel bad for them. But you know, they're gonna learn. So, I did something. I just realized, you know what? Why don't I just get myself what I wanted for Christmas? You know, I uh, pay car notes. I've, uh, you know, paid my way through college and, 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 and done all these other things, you know, adulting type things. Why can't I get myself the toy I wanted? Why, why don't I just go ahead and do that? So I did. to open this up. I'll show you what I want. <laughs> yes. 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 <clears throat> That's right. This is all I wanted for Christmas. This is it. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Oh my goodness, check this out. Dude, 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 dude. Should I take it out? 
I don't want to take it out of the plastic now. I don't. Oh, what do I do? Do I take it out and put it back in? I don't know. Do I leave it? I don't know. Oh, man. Pig head. Skeletor. My cousin, my cousin has Skeletor. And he had Mantena. And, um, actually, I don't believe this is how Mantena looked. The action figure, but my cousin had him. Um, anyway, long story short, um, Oh, why do I don't want to open it? Why do I want to open it? Forget I'm opening it. I'm going to open it. I'm, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. instructions there you go and let's uh, oh it comes with a comic book it comes with a comic book oh it comes with a comic book it's a little comic book it's a comic book who is this i don't remember this guy's name what's his name i don't remember that guy's name fist oh fist oh man it's big iron fist though now my cousin has Skeletor oh he didn't have he didn't have Mantena he didn't have Mantena he had Merman Merman that's who my cousin had Merman he has Skeletor um Faker oh my goodness it comes with a comic book Whoa. Oh, Skeletor had a bunch of fake he men. Oh, that's why they're fighting. Okay, I'm gonna read this later. Oh. <gasps> hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put this to the side. This is a hold up. If I can open it, I can, I can, man, they got that in there really good, don't they? Okay, let me find the tip of the sword. Yeah, let me find the scissors. They really got that in there. And they, uh, don't cut the scissors. I mean, don't, can't cut the scissors. Don't cut the sword. Okay. This is this is an even sword. Uh, and then it comes with a little axe. And it comes with a shield. Is that how he man shield normally looks? And <clears throat> Well, in the cartoon, I don't remember him wielding the shield, per se. You know what, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a shield in the, uh, I gotta find the originals. Maybe I could get on Amazon and find the, the cartoon series. <sighs> Let's, uh, 
Don't worry, he man. I'll get you out. Got you unlocked, don't they? But you know what? The most powerful man in the universe. Stupid little bindings can't hold you. Oops. I'm making a mess. Okay. someplace where you can intimidate the people coming into my room. Okay, and his shield. Where's his shield going? Oh, yeah, right here on this arm. Right here. Oh, I'm doing this right. Um, all right. Okay, we got the got the shield on, and then we got get this axe. Let's show it back there. <laughs> Check it out! Check it out! Hey man! Oh, dude, this is what the fuck Christmas? Hey man! And now I got him. Look at that. I am happy. Oh, man, this is so cool. I, hold up, hold up. Is that paint now? Oh, no, that's separate. I don't want to take that off. No, can it come off? Don't take it off. I'm not taking it off. Oh, but it can not come off. But I don't want to take it off. I'm leaving it on. <laughs> He-Man. So, that was the unboxing of my He-Man action figure. That was what I wanted for Christmas when I was... Oh, no, let me see. Six, seven, eight... I can't remember how old I was, but I know I wanted one, and I got one. <laughs> so now I just need Skeletor, and I need Teela, and I need Battle Cat, and Beast Man. Beastman was my dude. He was kind of dumb in the original too, but man, Beastman was the dude. <clears throat> and why am I tearing stuff up? Come on, bro. I just got this. Don't tear it up. Wow. Okay, let me put this on place. So, 
um, I am planning a Halloween thing and I can't decide if I should make it live or if I should just, I don't know. I haven't figured out all the details. I think about it all the time, but I never really put anything down on paper because I'm lazy like that. And plus, I'm always working. But it's different from when I was doing security. When I was doing security, I was always working, but I was always stressed out as well. Now, I'm just always working. <laughs> Perfect balance. Seriously, I am planning uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, to do um, another role play of sorts. Um, once I get all the details worked out, I'll, I'll put it down. I want to... I'm also preparing to do another... Actually, I'm ready to do that. I'm prepared to do another podcast episode for my Paranormal Observer podcast, which I I haven't been doing because I've got to, I'm sorry, I'm kind of a perfectionist, and if I can't get things lined up right, then it makes me not want to do it. I don't know why I'm like that. I need to change that. That's on me. But, uh... Once I get myself together, I'm going to do it. And for years, I had this great idea for Christmas. But it involves a collaboration. And I got the tools to do it. I just haven't done it. And I I feel bad. Um, I was planning to do a collaboration with ASMR Duck. And she agreed to do it. And I never did it. I never got back to her with the information that I needed from her and needed her to provide me. And the stupid... Well, I lost the paperwork. I have the stuff somewhere in one of my folders over here. I feel so bad. She probably thinks I'm an idiot. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll eventually collaborate and, and get something... Slap down, you know, but it's all just for fun. Um, I never wanted ASMR to be my bread and butter. The reason why I got on YouTube was to therapize myself, to give myself a little therapy and to escape through um, doing what I wanted to do. You know, it's just a, just a, just a hobby. It doesn't cost me a whole lot of money. Granted, I've put some money into it, but um, at the same time, it's it's just for fun for me. I'm, I'm not trying to be an actor or anything like that. But you know, it was just it was just a little self therapy thing, and I think it. It, it had its has its benefits, and I think it worked out pretty good in some ways. But um, at the same time, um, I don't have as much content out there as I should have. I should have way more content out there. But it is what it is. But um, thank you guys for watching this like comment share watch some of my old videos it's still up i haven't taken anything down um check out my podcast paranormal observer podcast and um i hope to see you guys later